Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing some of my favorite songs from Hamilton. I am a massive Hamilton fan. As you guys know, I just recently said on a community post, I was like, if there's one thing I could do, I would wish I could go back and hear Hamilton for the first time. But today, we're doing a first. We're doing a dual reaction with Jennifer Glatzhofer. Really appreciate you, Jennifer. Um, I have an interview with you on the channel. I don't know if which will come first, this video or the interview. But regardless, we talk all musical theater, all you know stuff like that, because that is uh, what you were highly involved in. So thank you so much for taking the time and doing a dual reaction breakdown with me. Yes, I'm so excited. It's musical theater as well. Uh, so the excited level is up here already. But yeah, thank you so much for letting me be here. I'm so excited. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. So you've obviously seen Hamilton, correct? Yes, I've seen it now, once. Have you have you seen it on the West End? Because you're from yeah. the UK, so you actually saw it in person. Yeah, I saw it in person, West End, 2019, December. So, like, right before everything. But, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, that's, been, that's, like, on my bucket list. I would love to see it. But, like, was that, what cast was that at that point? I guess the original cast, like, that they, it came out in, what, like, I want to say something crazy, like 2009, right? Uh, there, I think there was a lot of... Um, pre songs going out with Lynn kind of working on it okay. uh, like workshopping and stuff so a lot of things were released beforehand but I believe it was kind of like early uh, like 2013 or something around oh, wow, like okay. I'm gonna say around there although having said that I have no idea but it did start off probably 2009 is probably where things started kind of okay. kicking off for Hamilton oh very interesting very cool. All right, so let's check out this track. This is Wait For It. Obviously, we both heard it before, but we're going to be, you know, maybe kind of doing it as together, kind of bouncing ideas and thoughts off of each other. Yeah. All right, let's cool. see what we got. Classic riff from Hamilton kind of idea. Fia so Goza writes me a letter every day. I'm keeping the bed warm while her husband is away. I love those echoes. He's on the British side in Georgia. He's trying to keep the colonies in line. Well, he can keep all of Georgia. Theodosia, she's mine. Really interesting on the like the the production there, right there, because we had mm. the echo echoes the first two lines, and then the second and third time, they had the similar rhyme scheme, um, but they weren't echoing. Uh, yeah. So it's an interesting just use of production in the sense of like how you can overuse a. Uh, um a trick like for example like or like yeah. overuse a um not, not a trick isn't the word a um style you can you overuse the echo and then like you just get too accustomed to it but the fact that they did it and that left it off kind of really makes you focus on the words a little more because you kind of don't yeah um get caught up in that rhythm you actually like oh that was slightly different what was he what did he just say yeah yeah and also the fact that we didn't hear it on she's mind so it highlights that even more so exactly. we hear that a lot more a lot more prominent and you know it's that effect that we hear coming first and maybe sometimes we might associate that echo with an effect that might come later on in the song mm. but actually because like you said we hear it first straight away so we think we're going to continue hearing it and then the fact that it goes away it's like no <laughs> something okay cool let's go and then it comes back doesn't it so uh, it's just it is very well thought out and highlights the words that it doesn't that don't don't have the echo on which is also kind of cool because you don't i feel like you don't hear a ton of effects in typical musical theater style mm-hmm it's just honestly it's a lot of just straight vocals even not even yeah. reverb sometimes because this it's so storyline driven that like if they added all these effects it would be a little bit more difficult to understand the singer um so you really i mean even if you look at like these disney movies when they're singing and stuff like it's very just dry vocals with all the music around it um so yeah. it's cool how they're kind of switching that up here and they're using human voices as the effects yeah. as well which is cool exactly. so it's like very much an ensemble piece and very much everyone on stage doing what they need to do yeah absolutely love doesn't discriminate between sinners and the saints it takes and it takes and it takes and we keep loving anyway we laugh and we cry and we break and we make our mistakes so if there's a reason i'm by her side and so many you try then i'm willing to wait for it i'm willing to wait yeah, that bass rattling at the bottom and the yeah. echo came back right there yeah, yeah. i wouldn't i i don't do you remember how they did that in the in, in the production was it in him saying wait for wait for or was there an actual echo on the on the vocal live in the yeah. live performance um oh god i think here it's probably 
with the microphone, but later on there'll be like the whole ensemble coming through. Um, so yeah, going back to the point that I made earlier, it probably is like an after effect, wait for it. So it's him, his own voice is kind of mm -hmm. telling him mm -hmm. if I'm going around like of the storytelling of this song. And then after he has the whole pressure of everyone else. But yeah, it's, I think it's the microphone effect here. Interesting. That's actually really interesting. Just conceptually in the aspect of like his, his own brain, his own voice kind of telling himself to wait. That's actually really wild. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've listened to the whole mm -hmm. Hamilton, right? So it's kind of like the storyline and everything. And it's that kind of how different Burr, um, you know, approaches uh, situations to Hamilton, right? Mm -hmm. Hamilton's very much, I'm going to grab my shot, go, go, go. Burr's very much, wait for it, wait for it. So it's all these kind of words and his like voices inside of his head. Like, what do I do? He's hesitating. And that's sure. what this is, I think. It's all like kind of that like, hesitating moment just kind of bubbling up inside of him. And he wants to kind of change because has it worked for him in the past? I don't know. <laughs> well, as you see in later in history, he does change and he doesn't wait for it. And yeah, he, uh... exactly. <laughs> yes, no spoilers, no spoilers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grandfather was a fire and brimstone preacher. Preacher, preacher, preacher. Ensemble coming the in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mother was a genius. My father commanded respect. Respect, respect. When they died, they left no instructions. Just a legacy to protect. Mm. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. Interesting ch uh, change in concept. Love doesn't discriminate and death doesn't discriminate now. Right? And it's yeah. kind of same con, same melody, same words, except mm -hmm. that first word changes in it. First word changes a lot of meaning in that, that whole, you know. It's that but, kind of like there's a fine line, I guess. <laughs> um, it is. That, very interesting. Yeah, so interesting. Good. That's actually really interesting. <laughs> Comparison between love and death. <laughs> and then, oh, and like you oh, said, sorry. like the, sorry, like you said, like the line doesn't change. Musically, the line doesn't mm -hmm. change, but it's just that one word and it's like, Almost well, like what's a comparison made you change? between the two. Yeah, what, what has, what's led you to think this now? Because you've just said this, mm. but <laughs> what's, yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. I love the guitar swell. Yeah. 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 Dude, these like lyrics are so crazy like who in the world thinks i don't even know how to pronounce inimitable I, know. Like, I don't even know what that means you know what i mean it's such like um, 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 like just but just yeah. to get that diction out yes. <laughs> uh like it's so a tongue and, you know these these tongue twister but these words are so important obviously chosen by lynn so it's it's so important but it's just god <laughs> it must have been tricky to oh, get yeah. that out <laughs> live but I, I also like vocally for burr how he was very much in his lower register throughout the whole of the first beginning part spoken like kind of even throughout the chorus when the ensemble comes in he's very much kind of like just rumbling just mm -hmm. under there right mm -hmm. um, everyone else is doing the high kind of stuff and now here he is saying all these big <laughs> words higher than the rest of the ensemble so you can really hear them punching out as well you know it's just a completely different we're kind of getting to his true kind of thoughts here i think kind yeah. of like actually like, and you know, he's telling himself this as well i am an original it's just it's definitely punching out and soaring over the top of all the ensemble exactly his tone totally changes too like almost like a confidence not even not confidence yeah. level but like maybe confidence level but more so like the zeal but behind what he's trying to say mm. right yeah, yeah, yeah it's definitely. So, so interesting how when the dynamics of music really can affect what's happening you know what i mean or what, what's being said yeah, and it's all just like building up to this moment and he's just there pouring his heart out like <sighs> this is what I need to say. <laughs> exactly. Like in his shoes. 
Hamilton doesn't hesitate. Oh, very interesting. That it, I didn't real I forgot about that. Like, cause I actually with that line thought that he was talking about Theodosia's husband. Mm-hmm. But he was actually talking about now Hamilton, how he's comparing himself to ha like almost like you just said that Hamilton was more of that go getter, and then Burr was a lot of like I'll wait for it to come for me, and now he is yeah. questioning. That is so fascinating. Like I think go back and like listen to the whole of Hamilton. Like just I mean why not? Why you should, <laughs> but like see the difference of how uh, you know Burr's songs are written to how Hamilton's songs mm. are written, and it's all there even in his phrasing and uh like the stops and starts long phrases for burr because he's hesitating he's kind of so like taking his time with things hamilton's more like duh, 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 you know like punchy and things like that because he's just on it he's going to grab a shot so like he, he is comparing even though he doesn't want to i don't think like you know he but he that rivalry is always there isn't it he's always going to kind of look back at hamilton and be like why is he always in the way yeah, <laughs> like what does so he do interesting what does he have that I don't have? Like, what am I doing? What am I missing? Kind of thing. Yeah. And I think that's what's happening here. Oh, that's super fascinating, man. Very interesting. It's no restraint. Takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Changes the game. Plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's a reason he seems to thrive and so few survive, then God damn it, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Life doesn't discriminate. Love, death, and now life doesn't discriminate. Now life. <laughs> yeah. I love the concept of that. I'm willing to... And then he stinking makes you wait for that line. He's literally making you They're wait like, for it. That is the <laughs> and best it's like, thing. Yeah, yeah. Even though he's, you know, said all these things that like he's an original, I'm not going to try the other word, um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, all, <laughs> all of these things. Um, and now here he is. He's still like, I'm waiting. And it's yeah. like, no. <laughs> like it's you so feel funny. for him in this, in this song, I think. And it's such a great show casing song and it's like yeah here's the here's the company <laughs> you know mm. at the back behind you telling you that you are gonna wait for it yet again <laughs> but mm. it's so, so yeah, good yeah it's so interesting you can hear the hesitancy in his voice too mm -hmm. yeah definitely it's good acting oh that's cool man and Not it does really actually have like that um you know completed chord at the yeah. end as well <laughs> like it actually exactly. does uh finish for us nice <laughs> yeah or oh, resolves exactly resolve yeah exactly. <laughs> that's the word i was looking for i love it man this is hamilton I, it's so funny like for me music is so so nostalgic in the sense of like it really just puts me in a place of where i was and mm. i just i got into hamilton of like november of 2020 um and it just brings i feel like i feel that time you know it was like the the yeah. holiday season kind of thing of 2020 and it's just yeah, so wild it brings how you it brings you, you right you first... back there. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, yeah, so definitely. wild. Oh, man. Good stuff. <laughs> well, I really appreciate your insight. It's really cool kind of like bouncing. Because you have these thoughts, but then you bounce them off other people, and then they kind of like expand yeah. on them. So it's so cool. So I really appreciate you and your help. So thank you so much. That's all right. I mean, I'm always up for chatting about Absolutely. musical theater, Hamilton, anything like that. I'm here for it. <laughs> Let's do it again. I'll see you guys yeah. in the next video. Go check out Jennifer's channel. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.